Hey everybody, we are out here uh, near the Superstition Mountains just to the south and uh, we're gonna hit the Gold Canyon area today. Um, as per usual, I haven't been out here, but Scott has been out here one time. So what can we expect out here, Scott? Well, we can expect a nice ride. It's gonna be beautiful. The ephemerals are out in spades. It's green and lots of flowers and a lot of cactus. Last time I was out here, I fell into one, so we'll try to avoid that this time. Yeah, no falling into cactus. Yeah. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the video where we give our take on the trail. We're just uh, grabbing the bikes here and getting underway, and we will see you on the trail. See you out there. It's like we got to do a little bit of neighborhood riding here. Beautiful places though. Ah, it smells absolutely glorious out here. I wish you guys could smell this on camera. We've got almost uh, all the different flowers here popping together. Usually they overlap every now and then and this seems to be the time where they all overlap. It's hard to find them this way. Let's be our trailhead here. All right. Let's see if we can't find Cougar. Let's see if we can find our way through here. It looks really nice, Scott. Oh, it is absolutely beautiful out here. Wow, lots of cactus, like you said. I don't want to be shaking hands with any of these puppies. Look at the superstitions. Right. Left. I don't think I've ever seen them this green. And then at the next one, we'll go right. Oh, how far they go from the left side? Yep. All you see is the side on them. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like Depending on what uh, side of them you're on, the perspective always looks like two dimensional. Oh no, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Wow, look at all this color. Yeah. My word. Okay, first wreck of the day. When'd you hit the side there? Slid right off. Oh man, I almost slid off this way trying to avoid you. There's a lot of loose stuff on this trail. Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud, what is this? This is beautiful. Look at all this color. Blues, purples, yellows. And of course here we're on the south side of the superstitions. Very cool place. If you've never been hiking, you gotta go hiking here. 
flat it's iron. Flat iron right there. Over there. That's right a wonderful that hike. And even just seeing the superstitions from one side doesn't give it justice. It goes on. It's huge. Yeah, you could get lost in the superstitions um, for for days, if not forever, if you're in the wrong spot. People have disappeared in there and not come back. And of course, it's you've got the fabled Dutchman's Lost Mine there, and people for decades have been looking for what is believed to be his stash of gold that has been hidden there since what, early 1900s or late 1800s? Yeah. Now it looks like we're just diving in and out of the same arroyo. Yeah, dude, there's lots of hedgehog out here. No wonder you fell into some. Climbing up into the foothills of the superstitions here, yeah. and the color is just amazing. <sighs> Cactus everywhere trying to get us. <sighs> we got an intersection here. Almost. <laughs> Pretty rocky out here. It's kind of a mix. So this is what it's like riding out here today. Everything is just grown, crowding out the trails. And uh, so far I've had cactus in my shoe. And now I passed under some what I thought was a bush. And I got this little guy that hitched a ride here. And that brings me to another point, which I uh, neglected to think about today. But you wanna, especially out here in the desert, carry a fine tooth comb with you. Cause the last thing you wanna do is grab these cactus with your hand to pull them out because the spines will just stick into your fingers. So either a stick, if you can find one, best thing is, is a, a fine tooth comb because that seems to get the needles out better and everything. too hot. Some of this is pretty rough. 
having to hike a bike a little bit, but not too bad. Oh, this place is just absolutely gorgeous. We were up over there. Look at this. It just goes off into the distance here. Well, I'd look for a less bumpy pathway here, but there doesn't seem to be one. Whose idea was this anyway? Lots of cactus trying to reach out and shake hands. We're on all airport. The vortex is fun. We need to do that. Ah, dang it! Did you got it? Awesome. Nice job. We're out here on this little point up here on the rock. What is this point, Scott? Vortex. Is this Vortex point? I don't know. It's on Vortex Trail. Okay. So Vortex Trail. Uh -huh. Wow. Look at all this. <sighs> right on the edge up here. It is almost overgrown in here. We got a decision to make. All right, we decided to take a the left hand turn here. Whoa! Almost got cactus. Ah, ooh, that was close. Treacherous in here. There's lots of little rocks on the trail. They're just 
and loose. Push you all over the trail. Holy moly! Cactus on one side, cactus on the other side. Barely see the trail here. You're getting beat up on the rocks, trying to avoid the cactus. Holy moly! To go fast but every time we hit a corner I'm paranoid about flying into cactus so where are we at here Scott we're slowly but surely making our way back to the parking lot this has been a great ride all the way around other than getting cactus multiple times like that did you get cactus we're at yeah, like that. That was close. All right. We are just about to the main road. <laughs> you know, even in this neighborhood, this is just beautiful out here. How's it going? Good. What do you think of this, Scott? Well, I love it out here. I think this is my new favorite place to go. There's so much to see. It's so nice. It's rugged and rocky, but it's still really, really fun. I'd have to <clears> say this one, the only detractor was just how rocky it was, especially on the backside of, uh, what was it, Gila Monster? Mm -hmm. There's one section on the south side of Gila Monster Loop that is just rocky, rocky, rocky. It reminded me a lot of uh, the competitive loops either out at uh, Estrella Mountain or even um, White Tank's competitive mm -hmm. loop. Just really rocky, lots of twisty, windy stuff. In the beginning was kind of interesting. It reminded me of the competitive loops as well because we ended up diving in and out of the same uh, little arroyo, I don't know, what, a dozen times it felt like? Yeah, yeah. 
but it was pretty fun, pretty cool. Some yeah. stuff caught us by surprise. I had a little mishap. My yeah. bike decided to go one way and I went the other, which... We got that on film. We got that on film, it'll be yeah. fun. Yeah, Scott goofing off again. Yeah, I gotta so, keep it interesting. Yeah. I'd have to say, overall, I'd give this one a 4.5. Yeah, I'm going for five. I like it out here. Yeah, I love like it, out, it here. out here. I'm, I'd come out here as often as I can. It is really fun. It's so much to explore. There's so many little rock features. Yep. And it's beautiful. It's just, especially right now with all the flowers blooming, everything's blooming. It's just incredible. It is. It's absolutely spectacular. I think we caught this at the right time. Yes. Out here mm. in probably another week and this stuff would be either no longer blooming or drying out. So yeah, we caught this at the absolute perfect time. So for me, Four and a half stars. Uh, I'm giving it five. Giving, Scott's giving it five. My only detractor was all the loose rocks um, and cactus. I'll say the, the cactus, a lot of stuff overgrown on the trail. So mm. you're looking for cactus and it's hidden by a lot of the, the, mm. the, the uh, bushy stuff. And you're busy avoiding the cactus and you hit loose rocks and they spit mm -hmm. you to one side of the trail or another into the cactus. So I had a few times where I had to stop and uh, get rid of some hitchhikers. But I was good. That's right. You didn't. Hit I didn't get. Anything. I didn't get nothing. Yep. That's why I'm saying you got to just learn how to ride better. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the rocks to get out of my way. That's next right. Time, yeah. Cactus, get out of my get way. way. All right. So that's our take for this one. And uh, until next time, God bless and happy trails.